What's going on guys? Happy holidays. 2020 has been a bumpy year, but ultimately it's been super inspirational to me. I was able to meet and talk with a lot of talented artists right here on YouTube, IG Live, and even in person. I went on MTV Sneak Awards in the beginning of the year and was able to bring back the gold back home. We were also able to successfully launch our Rejuvenated rebrand and got this super sweet studio. Learned a lot of awesome new techniques. I learned how to sew. We got this new laser cutter that was ultimately things that was able to take my custom game to the next level. We decided to create this compilation video with all your favorites, including mine. Now, let's get into Vic Almighty's greatest hits. Coming in at number 10, we have the 21 Savage Snipes PlayStation 5 Air Force One Custom. I have the honor to create this one-on-one -on -one custom for 21 Savage in collaboration with Snipes and PlayStation. My favorite part of this custom was laser engraving the PlayStation buttons pattern on the swooshes. The laser engraver did such a beautiful job with those parts and it looked very subtle after the paint job. The overall colorway was inspired by the limited edition Snipes PlayStation Collection. And of course, you know I had to add LED lights to this project. Coming in at number 9, we have the Dior Air Force One Custom. This was a special priority to me because I got to work alongside with my good friend Jim on this project. This was also my introduction to learning how to sew. The best part of this custom was I was able to sit back and let Jim do the majority of the work. At number 8, we have the Nintendo 64 Custom Battle 2.0. What's up, Victor? So, Jonathan, nice can I get an Air Force One box? No, you actually had to loan me this because I brought my shoe and a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> This project was a little stressful going into it because I took a major L on the first battle against Johnny. I definitely wasn't going to let that happen again. The theme for this custom battle was video games, so of course I had to go with my all-time favorite console, the Nintendo 64. Adding the Pikachu and Pokeball was my way of representing the era I grew up in. If you guys watched the video, I redeemed myself and destroyed Johnny. It was just too much. That's right? creative though, that's super creative. Yeah, it's, I mean it's a little much. Now, on to number seven, the MTV Sneak Awards, Air Jordan 1. When you go against this clock, the clock is nobody's friend. What's poppin', everybody? I'm your host, Conceited, and this is MTV Sneak Awards. We're the only show. It has a hot pink sock liner, the purple iridescent colors, the zebra print, the LED lights to represent music, and of course, there's a speaker on that shoe somewhere. For this one, the experience was everything. Going out to LA and being on a professional MTV set was amazing. I got to meet so many talented artists. In the sneaker battle, I went up against Nick the Heyman. I was super nervous because I knew Nick had tons of experience in the sneaker industry and learned from one of the best, the shoe surgeon. The banana on the side is inspired by an episode where the guys dressed up as bananas and went out into the jungle around some wild gorillas. With that being said, the winner of the Sneak Awards for the Jordan 1 is Vic Almighty. Thank you, Denver. Yeah, I won. Super excited. I was so nervous for that whole time. Just so surreal. Proud of it. Moving on to number six, we have the custom Chuck 70s. This one was fully inspired by Kevin Concepts. When I saw him do his own version on Instagram, I knew I had to try it for myself. This was the first time I used our laser engraver on a custom. To do things differently, I added a custom Vic Almighty patch on the side. This is by far one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I own. Now on to number five, the Scare Jordan 1. This was a really fun project. We gave everybody the opportunity to submit their own Halloween design on a Jordan 1 through the Color My Soul campaign. I think everybody always does zombies and like ghouls and things like that. So I kind of thought of like the, you know, like kind of like the big three. So Freddie, Jason, Mike Myers. And Mike Myers never gets any love, man. That's the thing. I always see Freddie, I always see Jason, but I never see Michael Myers. So as soon as I saw like, dude, that's interesting. You know what I'm saying? 
For me, this was the easiest custom of 2020 because all I had to do was recreate the custom from a blueprint thanks to our friend Trent, whose design I ultimately chose. My favorite part of this custom was the swoosh and the Michael Myers on the tongue patch. At number 4, we have the Mandalorian Grogu custom. Being a Star Wars fanatic, this is by far, far away in another galaxy my favorite custom I've done all year. I really believe if Nike ever did a collaboration with Star Wars, this is what it would look like. The color green with the subtle gradient pops so nicely. The custom Grogu skin swooshes really set it off, along with the Grogu logo on the side. And the aged missiles gave it that look like they've been through Tatooine. Getting closer to that number one, we have the Guava Ice Union Jordan 4 at number three, all around. In my opinion, this is already a super sick colorway as is. I love the pink and blue on them, and especially these Nike Air back tabs, but I still think there's room for improvement. Before customizing the shoe, I thought the colorway was super dope. Although I did not like the folded tongue, the enclosed wings, or the yellow midsole, these were all easy fixes. I started off by cutting out the center of the wings, then unfolded and sewed the iconic yellow thread back onto the top of the tongue like it should have been. And lastly, I repainted the midsole to contrast better with the uppers. All in all, this is how Jordan should have released them. Now, before we get into the number one custom of 2020, we had the Jordan 1 Age Dark Moga at number two. Normally, I'm restoring shoes and bringing them back to life, but this time around, I did the complete opposite. Aging brand new shoes is a heavy trend right now, and I'm all for it. With this custom, I distressed the leather and suede using a Dremel and sandpaper. I added some really cool unique stitching all around the uppers and aged the midsoles properly. All done with the distressing part of this custom, overall I'm pretty happy in how it's looking. I pretty much hit the entire shoe, black leather, white leather, the brown suede was the hardest but we got some scuffing in there as well. Same thing with the paisley print, the tongue, the sock liner, everything's pretty much- This pair ended up being a personal thanks to Steve for gifting me these for my birthday. Finally, we have arrived at the number one custom of 2020, the Black Panther Air Jordan 6. After hearing about the passing of Chadwick Boseman back in August, I really wanted to pay tribute to him and his iconic character. For this custom, I gave it everything I had, laser engraving and sewing the side panels and tongue patch, adding purple LEDs to the air unit, painting the midsole, and thanks to my good friend Lee who was able to 3D print the teeth for me. This custom fully represented the Black Panther. To them. I hope you guys like them. I hope I honor Jadwick's legacy with these customs. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next time. The honorable mention for 2020 is the Fast and Furious custom I did for Johnny Bubbles. Johnny's an incredibly hard worker and a good friend. He's always quoting the first Fast and the Furious movie around the office and that is probably one of my favorite things about him. He also owns a few of my customs so I was happy to add this one to his collection. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Vic's Greatest Hits of 2020. If you guys want to win this holiday box, all you guys have to do is comment down below your favorite custom or restoration video of all time from our channel with your Instagram handle. The winner will be chosen and contacted in 72 hours. Good luck, everybody. Happy holidays. Catch you guys next year.